Today's video was a request from one of you guys down in the comments section asking me, Tanner, what are some crazy upper chest exercises? Today I've come to deliver with three killer upper chest exercises that you aren't doing. None of these are gonna be incline bench presses or incline dumbbell bench presses. They're totally original. Check it out. All right, we're coming out of the gate here with one of the craziest upper chest exercises I've been yet to see. The supernated grip cable chest press. This exercise is phenomenal. Because of the underhand grip, you're gonna be reducing a lot of the role that your shoulders are gonna be playing and thus making it less likely to suffer from a shoulder injury. Even when I perform this now with a minor AC tear on both sides of my shoulders, I don't feel it at all, which is absolutely phenomenal. Not only that, but the amount of targeting you're gonna get on that upper chest is incredible. How you begin the exercise is by rocketing the cables all the way down to the bottom. You don't need a ton of weight, especially not on your first set. You wanna get accustomed to the exercise, so start light. You're gonna grab the cables, you're gonna put them out just a little bit below your chest, underhand grip obviously, and they're at about shoulder width level. They're not wide, they're not super narrow, they're right to the side. From this position, you're gonna be pressing as you would with a bench press, however it's a little bit counterintuitive because you're using the underhand grip. It will sort of be straightforward once you're in the motion. You're gonna be pressing up towards your chin, bringing those fists towards each other, and then returning the weight back down. Remember to use a slow and controlled motion and really emphasize the squeeze at the top there when those fists are reaching towards each other because that is what's going to get you a ton of activation from your upper chest. Next, we get the elevated band push up. And as you guys know, I love use of the bands. The further you stretch out the band, the more difficult the exercise gets. This is no exception for the elevated band push up. Now you wanna start with a bench, that's what I'm using here. You can use anything just to get your feet propped up a bit. Make sure that it's something that's at least a foot high, anything lower than that, you're not gonna get too much activation out of the upper chest. You're also gonna notice that I'm using some dumbbells here. That's simply because if you were to do it without the dumbbells, just your hands, you're gonna have to get like a ridiculous amount of flexion with the wrists, and it's gonna be very painful. It's actually very damaging to your wrists. By adding in the dumbbells, you're gonna be able to keep a nice neutral wrist, nice and straight, and this is gonna be very beneficial for promoting the longevity of that joint and not injuring yourself on a simple exercise such as this. And when you're performing the motion, making sure you're getting a squeeze of that chest on each and every single repetition to get the most amount of targeting out of the upper chest. All right, my third and final exercise, we've got the landmine press. I love this exercise. I don't see anybody doing this and it's phenomenal for hitting that upper chest. So what you're gonna wanna do is position your barbell into a nice corner where it's gonna be stable. Nothing worse than when you're trying to perform this exercise and it slides out and you lose control of the weight. So make sure you've either got it in the corner of a room or you've got it in the corner of a pair of dumbbells. You're gonna load up some weight, get underneath it. I'm on my knees when I'm performing this here. You got the grip, wrapping your fingers right around each other and you're gonna begin pressing upwards. This pressing upwards motion with your hands in this position is going to be absolutely phenomenal for targeting that upper chest. And this one's definitely also very, very shoulder friendly and this is another reason I like this because guys like me with AC joint tears on both shoulders, this is an exercise that we can do. So there you guys go, three totally killer upper chest exercises that you probably aren't doing that you need to equip right now in your upper chest routine. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you won't want to miss. Thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.